to you how to fix your PlayStation 4 won't turn on and you may hear a beep sound and see a light or there may be no sign of life at all. This problem can be caused by a number of issues and we are going to show you several methods for fixing this problem. If you stay with us all the way to the end of this video and try each of these methods and there are a very high probability that this problem will be solved for you. So before we start please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video with your friends and social media so they can take benefits from the video. So the first thing is to disconnect the power cable. Disconnecting the power cable for at least 30 seconds and then reconnecting it helps solve the issues by acting as a quick restart. The power cable hooks up and at the back of your PS4 or you can disconnect it at the order end in the outlet if the preferred. Second method, conduct a power cycling. Power cycling is the stronger version of simply unplugging the power cable and it can help you fix small issues with your PS4 turning on. First, hold down the power button until you see the power light stop flashing and remove the power cable and leave the device alone for at least 20 minutes then reconnect your system again. Now recheck the issues. If not work then go to our next steps. Step 3. Replace the power cord. If you are still having trouble turning on your PS4 the issues might be in your power cord. Replacing it can help you figure out if that's what is being preventing your device or powering on or if the problem lies elsewhere. Step 4. Try a different power strip or outlet. If your power cord is not the issue, you might be having the other power related issues. So trying a different outlet or using a different power strip can help. You can also try plugging other devices into those power sources to test if they are working. If you don't have any alternative outlet to use and the one you are using has a reset button and you can also try hitting the button to troubleshoot. Step 4. Insert a game disc. Your PS4 might start working as usual if it is able to recognize and pull in a game disc when you are attempt to insert it and if that does not work, your problem might lie in your hard drive or within your system files. Step 6. Boot in safe mode. Safe mode is the basic diagnostic mode for your device and where it starts up without all of its driver and softwares. To boot up your PS4 in safe mode, hold the power button for a few seconds and until it turns off, the hold the power button again until you hear the two beep sound. Step 7. Clean your PS4. If your device has built up the dirt or the grime on it or inside it, it may be keeping it from the working properly. So cleaning your PS4 can be a helpful troubleshooting tool. You can use a microfiber cloth, compressed air and a carton swab to clear away dirt and you may want to grab a screwdriver to address the internal grime buildup. Remove the hard drive. Removing your hard drive and then trying to turn the PS4 on and can help you pinpoint if your drive is the issue. To remove the hard drive first make sure your device is powered off and then press into the area where the LED light appears on the top of your PS4. Pulling to the left side of the device, device to pop off the plastic covering. Then use a head screwdriver to remove the screw that is marked with the PlayStation button icons and it is located into the front left corner of the disk device. Finally use the metal handle like protrusions on the front of the exposed area of your device to pull the hard drive out your PS4. Once that is removed trying to try turning the device on either as usual or in the safe mode. If the problem is in your hard drive, it should be power on as usual and in that case you would have to replace the power if replace the hard drive with a new one. 
So friends, hopefully this method will help you to solve the PS4 on turn on problem and if this method won't work, please comment in below in, in our video description and, and we will try our best to reply your problem again. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video with your friends so they can take benefits from the video and thank you very much for watching this video again. If your PS4 won't connect to Wi-Fi or internet and after a system update for your PS4 and you find that the, your Wi-Fi is down or is not connecting like it used to. So you are not alone and many PS4 users have had this experience before. In fact, this problem reoccurs to many PS4 users almost but no worries, we have got you all covered and it is likely one of the following reasons. If you stay with us all the way to the end of this video and try each of these methods, there are a very high probability that this problem will be solved for you. So before we start, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video with your friends and social media so they can take benefits from the video. So let's start. Number 1. Check the status of the PS4 network. If PS4 is offline and it is not going to matter whether the console can connect to the Wi-Fi, so check it, its status as an initial step and gamers often misdiagnose the PS4 outage as a problem with their network connectivity and, and which can cause unnecessary confusion. Number 2. Reboot your router if you have not restarted your router for a very long time and your ps4 is not connecting to the wi-fi and it is time for you to get it restarted and you may find it hard to believe but just a simple reboot does help a lot of the user with they are not connecting the ps4 and so try it now and if you have not done so Number 3. Restart the PS4. Then reboot the PS4 and, and see if it connects successfully afterwards. Fully power down the console and turn it back on as opposed to the entering the rest mode and then waking up the console's operating systems. Number 4. Change the network type. Check if your other devices have good connection and if none of them have the good connection the problem is very likely to be your Wi-Fi and try to contact your ISP and see the problem is one on their side. Also devices like the PS4 sometimes tend to go time out in the 2.4 GHz network and try to connect it to your 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. Number 5. Rename your SSID. If changing the network type still does not fix it and try to rename its SSID in your router settings from the web page. You may also need to change the security settings from the WPA PSK AES 2.56 to the WPA PSL TKIP 2.6 bit. Please check the picture. Number 6. Try a Wi-Fi extender. In some cases, the culprit could be your weak Wi-Fi signal and if you have already moved your PS4 quite close to the your router, maybe it is time to, for you to try a Wi-Fi extender if you have done one. In this case, you don't need to make a new investment buying a new router but if you don't have one, you may need to move it to the next step. Number 7 change your router to the public IP. If you can make sure that the problem is not on your side and try to reach out to your ISP and ask them to change your current settings to the public IP. Number 8. Change the Wi-Fi network channel number. It is common for internet connected devices to all use the same narrow radio frequency range by default. Your neighbors could be using the same channel as well, so change the channel on the wireless router to establish a strong connection.
Number 9. Change the DNS settings. In some cases, the problem is with your DNS address is accessed. You can change your DNS settings accordingly to see if it helps you out like what does it many others. You can also set the primary DNS as 8888 or secondary DNS 8844. If not work, you can use alternative primary DNS or secondary DNS. Check here. Number 10. Connect the PS4 using a wired connection. If you attempted all of the above and still cannot connect your console to your Wi-Fi network, use reliable hardwired options like a Ethernet cable. Number 11. Update system in safe mode. Sometimes the system update package is causing the Wi-Fi not working problem and the latest update could help you fix it. Safe mode might cause data loss so always get your data backed up and external hard drive first and you are trying this method at your own risk. Number 12. Disable the media server. Although sounds weird and it does fix not connecting the Wi-Fi problem for many users when they disable the media server and you may want to try it as well. Number 13. Factory Reset the PS4. The last resort is to reset the PS4 at its default factory settings. If you have reached this point and still cannot establish a connection, resetting the console is recommended course of action. So friends, hopefully this method will help you to solve the PS4 problem and if these methods won't work, please comment in below in our video description and, and we'll try our best to reply your problem again. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video with your friends so they can take benefits from the video and thank you very much for watching this video again.